Hopefully helpful. Learn, implement, win. Episode 3, Using Mortar Strikes on Objectives. First, I want to cover how mortar strikes work. So you're going to pick three spots on the map, and two mortars will come down on each. They come down in order of where you pick them, and they come down within about a second of each other. So you get six mortars in total, and you can cover an, an area for about six seconds. And this is really good for, for defending objectives, clearing out areas, or just holding people off. Here's part of a chart taken from Den Kersen's page, linked in the description. And as you can see, each mortar has a max damage of 300 at the center of the uh, blast radius and a minimum damage of 50 on the border and the blast radius is 7.5 meters so as you can tell these are very big explosions and they can do a lot of damage so here's the max range of the mortar and I have flak jacket on so instead of doing the 50 damage it's only doing 35% of that so it takes all six mortars to kill me so if you didn't have flak jacket you would die from just two mortars so when you're calling a mortar strike, when you're attacking or defending, there's really two ways you can do it. You can either hit the actual objective itself, or hit the area they're coming from. So the red on screen rep represents like a choke point or an area where people are, are coming from, and you know they're going to be there. So if you wanted, you could just mortar strike that area to prevent them from getting to the objective. That or just hit the actual objective if you are, say if you need to defend it, if someone's planting or they're about to capture it. So I want to talk about when you call in the strike on the actual objective because when you try to cut an enemy team off, that's really map and game specific. So as you can see, I call in all three strikes on the objective and in demo or search and destroy when there's a bomb, you don't want to stack up the strikes on the actual bomb because it can actually deflect some of the explosions and not kill people who are on it. And in this clip, there's actually two people on the bomb and as you saw, I only got one of them with all of the strikes. So what you want to do is place the strikes around the bomb, and since the explosions are so large and do so much damage, even if they have flak jacket, you should be able to kill them. And this gives your team precious time to get back around the objective and into spots where you can defend it efficiently. And as you're about to see, when these strikes come down, they kill them instantly, and these guys even have flak jacket on, so this shows that this really does work. And as I said, this is a great way to kill guys planting or defusing the bomb, and you need to get them off quickly. Now I'm going to throw in some clips here from our testing while I continue to talk. So if you're playing Domination and there's no bomb site, obviously, you can just place the strikes on the flag and slightly around it to kill anyone on it. And this applies for other game modes like Headquarters because you want to get the maximum area of coverage while still being able to kill anyone in the area. In general, for defending, I find that Napalm Strike actually works better than the Mortars because it gives you a longer time of denial uh, and also because it's a lower kill streak. But if you were to run both of them, it can be used very effectively for keeping people off or if you're on offense for blocking their routes to get to the objective. Though if they have Flak Jacket Pro, the Mortars are going to be a lot more effective than the Napalm. One should also note that the Mortars are not always the most precise. There seems to be a certain percent chance that when you call it in, it won't hit the spot you're targeting. It'll hit somewhere off from the center. So that's also a problem. So that's why you also want to kind of put it around an area. So if it does deviate, it will still hopefully kill anyone in the area. I actually called in all three strikes on the bomb in that clip. But as you saw, the second one landed to the left. So there's just proof that it can deviate. And it can happen for all three strikes. Bam, said the lady.